If you want to make a snowflake the challenging way, but make it look a little bit more accurate and have six sides, this is the advanced method. So the first thing you're going to do with your piece of paper is fold it into a square. So to do this, you're going to take the edge, the bottom edge, fold it up towards the top till it makes a triangle shape. Make sure it's lined up perfectly. And make a fold. So you can double check to make sure you have it correct if the edge of this triangle is a complete point. Sometimes it looks more like this and if you see it looks like a square then you don't have it folded over enough. You want it to come to a complete point. You will have a rectangle shape on the edge and you can go ahead and just cut that off. Once you have your perfect square, you can actually keep it in this triangle shape and fold your triangle in half one more time to create another right triangle. Hold your triangle. Make sure that it doesn't have it, the sides flipping up too much. You wanna make sure this is a really tight crease. So if you notice that it's gapping, Go ahead and crease it one more time to make sure it lies pretty flat. And now comes the tricky part. You need to fold this triangle into thirds. So take the right hand corner and you're going to fold it over until the bottom makes a point. So essentially you're folding this triangle into a third. So the resulting shape should look something like this. Important part is this bottom is a point. Now you're going to take the other side and fold it on top of the triangle you just made. So we're folding this in half. So now you're going to flip it over and you're going to see that there's a straight line on the top of your triangle. You're going to cut along the straight line so these two little tails fall off. Take your scissors, line it up, and I'm just going to chop off this top part. And now it should be a perfect triangle. Once you have your triangle, you can go ahead and start cutting. And again, you don't want to cut off like through the center or completely across, otherwise you're going to make your snowflake really small. So you're going to go around just the edges. If you want to give your snowflake points, you can cut off the top edge. So I'm going to give mine a point, so I'm just going to chop off this whole section there. And go ahead and open it up. And what you should see is a six pointed snowflake. And you're done.